I had to go back to that game. Well, here's the whole thing. If you don't have a frigate now, you're going to get one in next. You got they give a free frigate now. They're going to be given free frigates. It's like they they've streamlined the whole intro stuff that um, you get a obviously you get you fix your ship, you get base building. After base building, you get a frigate for free. And then I'm sure from there they start like you know, helping you traverse the space. And, you know, learning the new systems and stuff. Um, what else? Yeah. Like, I plan to do a save file. I'm going to make a second save file that's going to be set in uh, survival mode. Because currently I'm in normal mode. So this way I can, um, you know, see it, see how it intros. See how it begins. And also I can try a, a more challenging mode. I'm not yet ready for permadeath, though. And I don't think I would do permadeath unless I was actually doing it with friends. And then we'll see. Let's see how long we can survive. Because then that would be fun. That would be fun. Doing that mode of friends. But yeah, for now, it's my last day of messing around with my base as it will probably be destroyed when the next update happens. Either that or find itself buried underground like uh, my friend Katana ends up, ended up as when he had the Atlas Rising update. It was funny when he finally uh, recently decided to di like use grenades to dig up under where it said his base was and he actually found the structure of his base That was hilarious. Oh, I, I get the. Uh, let me pick that up. Yeah. But yeah, I know what type of. what I'm gonna do, what items I need to do to make for my base for making money. It's just a question of if they are still gonna be profitable. I'm hoping so, but you never know. They always be changing stuff. All right, now I'm also trying to stock up on uh, a lot of the core materials. Cuz my thought is we going to need I'm going to need that stuff. I've also been working on my um, exosuit upgrades because they added this whole cargo um, slot where you can have like uh, 500 items in each slot, you know, stacks. Yeah, I've been working on those upgrades. I got like 17 slots of the of the high capacity inventory. I still need to work on. Creative mode is pretty much a sandbox. It's like you can make whatever. Um, I think it's not that da dangerous, and I'm not sure if, if it's like stuff like you don't actually need the resources to build things. That might be what makes creative mode creative mode is the fact that you don't need the resources to build things. You can just build it. If I recall, it it came out the same time as base building, so would make sense. I don't necessarily plan to mess around with that unless I start messing around with making race tracks. The plan is I'm going to use normal mode to pretty much continue my progress and story um, stuff will potentially be my main save file and then I was going to do survival to experience the game anew essentially but you know obviously a lot harder 
once you could or you know make a new file start from scratch learn it from there though if you do that I would probably just wait till the update and then do it there but essentially it's Really not. They, I, I would say the th the key things that they changed that was different from when like the original was the base building, which then added a whole bunch of new resources you need to actually build things in the base. Because like eventually you get farming, and that is a totally interesting thing. And exosuits. I mean not exosuits. Exocrafts. Drop pods. Yeah. The cool thing, though, is that you can get a blueprint to build, or you may already have it, I don't know how it works, um, this device under tech called a signal booster. And as long as you have 50 iron and 25 platinum, you can place it down and use it to actually find different structures, like drop pods and, you know, other flip things. With that, you can essentially, you know, drop down anywhere on the planet and find out where you really want to look for and then go get that. That's what I was doing for a while now. It's like I've been going to different solar systems. I would land on a planet, plop that thing down and try to get uh, track down a drop pod. Like compared to my friend, I can probably carry more items than him thanks to my high, uh, high capacity inventory. What I need to work on is upgrading my technology slots. Then I can transfer all my technologies that are in um, my general slot over to there. So I don't have them in, in my way. Because technology slot can only have technology. What are actual upgrades that I can get rid of? This one. Yeah, the boosters. I can remove those. I can't change life support and stuff like that. Though currently the only thing upgrade I have in my technology slot is the, the new hazmat gauntlet get that from base building and it actually allows you to farm because most of the plant these new plants that you can gather resources from um, I guess they're highly dangerous to touch Oh yeah, they have those too. I haven't used them myself, but essentially you can put them on a deposit and it will periodically mine resources from it and you can pick it up. There's also this uh, atmosphere miner that you can use to gather atmosphere materials like radon and sulfur. I have not, I don't have any recipes currently that uses that, but I believe there are recipes that use that. But, you know, like I said, I haven't been really working on my upgrades as much as I should have. I mostly tried to do what was necessary to do the Atlas Rising storyline, which was I had to do base building. I had to do a few upgrades to myself, and that's it. And then I wanted to get a frigate. Now I got my frigate, I bought myself a second ship, and I'm now just stocking up on supplies.
because I want to survive what's to come. Let's see, let's move this to there. Now I should be able to farm this. Yeah, 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 you're always full. Yeah, I already got, based off of some footage I saw, I already got some ideas of how I want my character to look. So essentially, you get access, when you, for the character creator, you get access to create, create your character, make your character look like all the races, any of the races that are already in the game. And then that new humanoid, you know, space outfit that you can be also. Um, you can be, essentially, the races are get. Verkin and Korvox and the Travelers. The Travelers are essentially story-wise are supposed to be what you are and they have some interesting looks. Some even look like weird robotic stuff like this one guy has this like glowing light with these metal um, like parts that keep rotating around the light. Which makes it look very epic. And interesting. Can you join my party on PS4? Or in B Me to One? Hmm? Oh, some people joined my stream. But yeah. Uh, I'm low on me. You know, work on my inventory. Let's see, what can I move around? Uh, don't need all this carbon. There we go. Okay, all that's taken care of now. Oh, wait, no room for that. Okay. Let's do some traveling. Let's see my space. Okay. Do some mining. Uh. I love the mining lasers on the Exocrafts. They, you can just hold them. They don't overheat. Yeah. And they're necessary for uh, Detrium, I believe. Yeah, you need them for the mine Detrium.
Ah, oh, great, that thing just disappeared on me. But I can still mine. Gotta love that texture pop in. I think that's enough nickel. Originally I chose like a desert planet to be my base planet. Got a bunch of cactuses everywhere. Ah, oh, fuck the sentinels. I don't know why it keeps running into me and then flipping my vehicle over. Is that still on? You hurt me. Uh, my mining laser is still on, even though I'm not in the vehicle. I was trying to see if the laser can hurt me. And luckily it can't. Oh, look at that thing. I already scanned it. Start getting some more. Um, what is it called? Again? Fairy, Fam Famium Nine. That is a important resource for gather for making um, plants. That and carbon, but carbon is easy to get. Charge.
Oh crap. Got stuck in a ditch. Oh, I'm out. I've had, I've had that happen before where I couldn't get out at all. Luckily, you can respawn your vehicle. deposit of it. What the hell? Get the goddamn sentinels. They flipped over my car again. Help with fueling? Oh, we'll find out. I have 10% more fuel. And I have about. Wait, did I get stuck in a ditch again? Oh, come on. Oh, God, I hate this vehicle sometimes. I guess this is what I get for not putting a jet pack, um, a booster on it.
Alright. Oh, oh, come on! <laughs> oh, God, I'm stuck. Okay, I officially crashed my exocraft. All right, see you around. See ya. I gotta find myself out. That was brilliant of me. Drive my vehicle into a ditch. Just, just wonderful. Good thing never, nothing ever stays where it is. Home away from home. Does my character really have a home? I do not know. But I, well, I guess it's my home and not my home away from home. Okay. Let's see how my crops are going. Uh, frost stuff is done. Oh, wait. Okay, all that's done. Now it's time for some inventory management. Okay, I got enough of those. How many lubricants can I make? Transfer some of this iron.
making some money. Living glass, a really nice and expensive selling resource. Same as computer circuit board, which makes you a lot of money. Alright, should leave me around 40,000 units around that? 47. 47 million. That's what I got. Trying to save up money for No Man's Sky next so I can buy any new things that I may be able to get. You just have to buy the ships on the frigate when they land. I'm hoping to get a fighter next, because the first ship back there is a shuttle, and that's a hauler. I'm hoping to get a fighter. And one day, an exotic. But time will tell. Time will tell. This is my space farm. So I'm going to put a nice supply of plants here on my spaceship, just in case my base ceases to exist. I have more first. Oh, I do. Okay. And now I'm out of there. It's always out of sight. I guess I can use the rest to make... Uh... Oh, I'm out of camera route now. Oh, gotta answer that.
Okay. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Now this is the commander of my freighter. He basically does nothing. But from here, I can warp anywhere. Orbital station coordinates received. Okay. Here we go. Final Frontier. Okay, let's see what's out there. Mm, looks like two planets. Okay. visit the Atlas. a new word. And another... Another... Okay. Atlas. Ha, you is Lucas, Wolf, Doc, Uk, Ah, stuff. The final interface to, is revealed. The Atlas beckons. I am elated, terrified, broken. I have come so very far. It wishes for me to obey. If I am to hold the power of creation, it will be in chains. I am gifted with power. I am slayed by the limitations of life. The heart of the sun. Yeah, the whole problem is I don't have all the other blueprints. Like, if I look at this right, the heart of the sun takes a modified quanta. 
I can make a modified quanta, but I need a Nove Reclament. Alright, Nove Reclament needs state pressure. State pressure needs Photic Jade. I don't have Voltic Jade. This doesn't look like it. Oh well, I guess I'm gonna have to somehow track those things down. to this problem. Not good, not good, not sounding good.
like that. Hi. Space station, real quick. And I'm gonna stop my play session for now. have a little uh, video about the home planet I used to have before everything changes in the next update. Farewell to anyone watching. I will try to do another stream.